Summer vacation is a sacred time for kids and teachers alike, but more and more research indicates that the long break between school days is detrimental to the education of students who suffer from a quote-unquote summer slide during the gap in schooling. To reduce these setbacks, Assemblymember Keith Brown, a Long Island Republican, has introduced legislation updating the school year calendar, and he joins us on the Capitol Press Room to discuss the issue. Welcome to the show, Assemblymember. How are you today? Thanks for having me. Our pleasure. I'm doing well. So what got you interested in the first place in this issue of learning loss, and I guess more specifically, the idea that summer vacation sets kids back on their education journey? Well, I was approached actually by concerned parents about this issue. I mean, the data shows clearly that having such a large gap of time with no learning makes children go backwards in terms of their learning process. I mean, the statistics are pretty clear that kids in grades 3 to 5 lose about 20% of their school year and about 27% of gains in math. And it's particularly in, in the subject of math that we're lagging behind when it comes to performance of children internationally, uh, according to the statistics. So there's many things that we haven't addressed in schools. I think it's really time we, we, we take a look at some of these issues to see, you know, how can we help our, our children out the most? So according to your assembly bio, uh, you have three children. So I was curious whether you ever experienced this summer setback in education with them, and this was something that you had to address uh, in the fall about helping them catch back up. Well, the answer is yes. And what we've done, my wife is a educator by, by trade, and we've always put them into programs during the summer to, to stop the summer slide. So I think that statistically, you know, it, it's very clear, and for someone to argue against it, they're not looking at reality when it comes to it. So traditionally, the school year calendar is about 180 days of tutelage. Your legislation would boost the number to 200 days. How would you like to see those extra 20 days implemented? I'd rather see the school districts come up with their own answers uh, to the problem. It's more pronounced, particularly for younger kids, right, that we know so much more. That's why we have Head Start programs and and we want to try to help younger kids get up to speed and, and not fall backwards during the summer. So I'm not going to tell the administrators how to do their job, but I, I do think it's high time that the regions look at this. At the end of the school year, when it comes to especially high school students, you know, they go through a series of weeks that there's just no work that's going on towards the end of the year. There's definitely room that they could expand the programs so that, you know, the kids are continuing to be engaged and not going through a period where they're not stimulating their brains. I, I will say, I, I do understand on the other side of the equation, you know, my kids also played a lot of sports and it does compress the summer, you know, somewhat if they were to extend, extend the year. But there's a number of ways that they can skin the cat to come up with a solution that doesn't add to the summer slide. Well, if the calendar was stretched out to 200 days, do you envision that the state would need to increase the funding it provides to public schools? I think they'd have to look at the finances because we'd have to figure out how to uh, pay the educators for that extended time, right? Yeah, and speaking about the educators, do you envision that there would have to be local negotiations with the teachers' unions about how to actually implement something like this? Or could this be a top-down approach with maybe the state education department issuing some sort of regulations or maybe even negotiating with uh, the teachers' union at the statewide level? I'm never a fan of the top-down approach. What I was uh, hoping to do with this legislation was to get the topic out there and so people can discuss it so we can figure out 
you know, creative solutions of, of how to address the problem that is the summer slide. Do you feel like in Albany there is a willingness to embrace ideas that shake up the status quo like what you're proposing? I think moving any institution as large as the state education department is, you know, it's like moving a uh, ocean liner. But, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know. Um, you know, another idea that I never understood uh, why we do it this way is why don't we set the Labor Day as the calendar year so that all children going into school are going to be of the same age? Uh, you know, right now we it's, it's district by district, and it leads to all different kinds of outcomes. You know, for people, especially when they move from district to district, I experienced that myself, too. I know the governor just put in a proposal about revamping how we're teaching reading. And I think that's great. And I think that that's just the beginning and, and the tip of the iceberg that we should be looking at other issues that are impacting the level of learning uh, when it comes to kids in New York State. Because, as you know, we spend more money per student than any other state in the country, and yet we're not seeing the results in terms of performance of our of our children. So we're not doing something right. All we're doing right is spending a lot of money. So both the literacy initiative and the Labor Day proposal you referenced are examples of top-down standardization. So is this kind of more complicated than just giving the local school districts the authority to teach kids as they want? It seems like there really needs to be that conversation about state minimums versus the broad discretion locally. The Labor Day uh, example is really, you know, not heavy-handed. It's just establishing a certain criteria so that this way it could, it could be applied uh, consistently. But overall, I, I do believe that it's the job of the state education department to set the standards, you know, and then let the school districts, you know, come up with the solutions that work best. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this conversation. We've been speaking with Assemblymember Keith Brown. He is a Long Island Republican. Assemblymember, thank you so much for making the time. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a great day.